Here we have it. The Kenwood Viking VM7000. Probably one of the most inclusive public safety radios or just radios in general on the market today. Um, this is the multi-deck version. You can get it in a single deck, multi-deck, uh, multiples of the same band, different bands, things like that. And then different heads that uh, can come with it as well, such as the, um, the handheld control head that uh, might be for, you know, if in a vehicle that you don't have a lot of space to put a full control head like this in, or such as this full featured control head, the KCH-20. Um, this allows for multiple decks to all be on the control head at once. So what we have going on here is we have a 7800 uh, control deck down here on the bottom, a UHF and a VHF. All P25 trunking, all your typical features you're going to find in one of those types of radios. However, on the head you can see we got one, two, three different channels going on at the same time. This radio has the capability of sampling uh, the information from each deck all at the same time. So I could have a channel going on UHF, test one, one, two, two, and at and the at same, same time, time 800. 800. So, so I can, I can hear, hear multiple different <clears throat> transmissions at the same time, disparate radio systems, maybe um, one user is on an 800 trunking system, one user is on a VHF conventional system, and one user is on a UHF system. This allows me to minimize how many radio heads that I have actually in my vehicle or um, in a command post or wherever I might be, but I, allowing the use of all the decks all at the same time, as if I were to have three complete radios. We'll get you nice and zoomed in here on the control head. This is everything you're going to see about the radio is right here. Um, you can program it many different ways in the software, what buttons you want to do want, what. However, I have the plus and minus will allow me to select the different radios themselves. Whatever's selected, highlighted, you can see the highlight around it. That is what's actually going to key up if I were to key the mic. Um, you'll see when I key up, it actually mutes the other decks. Uh, temporarily while I'm speaking. That way you don't get any type of echo, feedback, anything like that. And then once I release, um, you can actually key up and you'll see someone, someone talking, talking. On, the other, on the other decks. Um, you'll actually see your icons, whatever your highlighted icons are, showing up at the top. And as you cycle through, now it's showing me my scan my talk around, my priority icons up at the top as I cycle through the different decks versus showing them in line. Um, right now I have it set just so it shows me the single channel. You can actually um, change it in programming so it will rotate between zone name and channel name if you want. However, I find this is less busy and uh, simpler as I, if I need to change channels, I can just... I, it'll simply show me the zone name once I actually go and select that actual radio. Um, right now I have this set up with only one speaker. However, as you can see on the back of the RF decks, you can actually plug a speaker into each individual deck and control the uh, sound independently. This will make it so you can have one speaker, one main speaker that's hooked up to the back of the control head, and that only plays the audio from the selected or highlighted radio. But then the sound from the other radios will come out their speakers that are hooked into them. However, I have it programmed in such a manner that it uses one speaker and all audio comes out of this one. You can either in programming or with a button, you can program a button so it will set the volume to for the other radios lower than the primary or the selected or highlighted one. Um, just as as you desire it. So currently I found that leaving them all the same is about the is is best. However, there's not a lot of traffic on all the decks at once. Primarily VHF with the UHF N800 being secondary um, uses for me. One of the other cool features I'll do a different video on, but this radio has crossband repeat. This allows for you as the user to hit a button 
um, that you have programmed. I programmed the C for it. And it will patch two decks together. So this could allow for um, you using it as maybe a pseudo vehicular repeater. Maybe you have a VHF channel that you can't get out on portable from a certain location on very well. But your uh, portable, you can uh, get out on UHF, <clears throat> talk to your vehicle via UHF, and it repeats it back out on VHF. Just kind of like in a ham radio, how you can do that. The other cool thing you could do with this is maybe you have multiple users or agencies at the same location that don't have the same radios. Um, we run into that a lot in different places. Maybe uh, one user has 800 meg and one user has VHF. You could take a tactical channel on VHF and a tactical channel on 800, patch them together, right on scene there, push by pushing a single button and having those particular channels selected on your radio, and now you can talk between those two uh, disparate radios. So, test one, two, three, four, five. You can see it's got a full color display as just like with the other Viking radios and uh, showing red for things such as the mute, emergency, stuff like that, and then green during receive and, and showing the radio IDs on digital, etc. So when you order this, you can order it with a lot of different features. You can also order it with multiple different combinations of radio decks. So you could order four VHF decks, you could order two VHFs and an 800, you could order, you know, anything like that. It just depends on how you want to use it. Maybe you want one radio VHF to always sit on trunking and the other VHF radio to always sit on conventional. Or you just want two VHF radios in one head. So a lot of different options and possibilities you can do with this. So that's the VM7000 just in a quick nutshell. Cool radio, a lot of cool possibilities, especially if you're a user that has multiple different radio systems, multiple different bands they need to listen to. Maybe doesn't have a lot of space in your vehicle, doesn't have, um, or m maybe you have so many radios you only have one spot for a head. Um, you will see that this radio head is a little bit bigger than the uh, typical uh, radio head. Not by a lot, but probably another half an inch or so. However, I find the display very easy and, and, and nice to look at, especially when you have multiple decks on here.